at That's the corner for me. What up, y'all? It's the People's Choice DJ MV, only on Music Choice. Now, we couldn't let the summer go by without giving you one of the hottest rappers in the game. His name is also the game. Now, the Compton Red Lyricist is far from shy when it comes to the issues that really heat him up, from the state of hip-hop to his possible retirement. He even sheds a few tears. Trust. You've never seen a game like this. Of course, we got the exclusive. Check it out. The game is no stranger to controversy. Since the beginning of his career as a member of G-Unit, he's beefed with many, from Joe Button to Jay-Z and eventually with his then-boss 50 Cent. Since then, the game's short career has been jam-packed with hip-hop wars, court cases, and a little bit of everything in between. After a brief hiatus turned into the drama, the game is back with his third and possible final album, LAX. I swear to God, it feel like every day is my birthday. Let the top on you, my birthday. The hip-hop needs me right now, so... um. Uh, I went in and I recorded another album that's another classic, my third classic, and I'm just, you know, I'm ready. On the grill of my low rider, on both sides, right above the gold wires. In 2004, the game dropped his debut, the documentary, selling over 5 million copies. With the release of Doctor's Advocate after being kicked out from G-Unit, many wondered if the outspoken Compton lyricist could survive without 50 Cent and Dr. Dre. I definitely surpassed, um, you know, what I wanted to do with the Doctor's Advocate. Showed that I could be independent and that I could, you know, create another classic album without Dre or 50. And I was so proud of myself for doing that. And I'm pretty sure I share the same sentiments as, uh, you know, other people in the world that, you know, went out and supported that album. Of course, I wanted it to supersede the documentary, but if just because it didn't doesn't mean I wasn't happy with it. I was just excited to be doing it by myself and to show the world that I can, you know, surpass the sophomore jinx. I can do a, uh, make a classic album without Dre and 50, and I did that. And this album, I don't have to worry about a sophomore jinx. I don't have to worry about people uh, asking me is Dre on the album because he wasn't on the last one. He's not going to be on this one. Me and Dre probably won't ever work together again, and we don't need to. And I don't need Dre. I'm pretty sure he doesn't need me. But I'm just happy recording the album, and it went the way that I wanted it to go. So if this if LAX comes out and people don't appreciate it, don't like it, I don't care this time because I, I had fun creating my album, and I got a chance to work with some of the people I always wanted to work with. Happy and fun were definitely not the words to describe the game earlier this year when his Double XL magazine interview gained mass attention after the former gang member talked about his suicidal thoughts. First time since I ever did a Double XL interview, I got a writer that was a young, you know, black girl, and she she just listened to me, you know, and so I was an open book because she was real and I was real. I got a chance to finally have someone that was a journalist that really cared to listen and really wanted to help me fight my demons so that's what that double xl article was and it's better to release demons to hold them in or maybe what you read would have been true but one thing about suicide is you know people that want to commit suicide commit suicide the people that want to really want to kill themselves they're dead and the thing about you know that is that regrets i don't live with regrets because when you think about what a regret is, a regret is spending time thinking about how you can reflect or change the past, and you can't change the past, so a regret ain't shit, but waste of energy, and I'm just not into that. Aside from dealing with his own personal issues, the game became one of the first hip-hop artists to respond to the Sean Bell tragedy. The incident took place in 2006 when four cops shot the unarmed Bell over 50 times, killing him. The officers were acquitted of charges and Game responded with the song 911's a joke, Cop Killer. Yeah. To include more artists on the track, but no one wanted to get down. I reached out to a lot of rappers and I told them what I was going to do for Sean Bell and a lot of them just, I got a gang of excuses, turn nobody wanted to stand up and be a man. We don't have a problem putting out a mixtape dissing each other, but the people that you say or you claim to hate so much, which is, or the situations that render us helpless, like police brutality, excessive force, people using the shield to really deal the wrong way with, with human beings, you know, like, nobody wanted to stand up for that except me. It's up, man, because people don't understand, man. 
And that's why I don't want to be a part of hip hop no more. Because it just, it just ain't right, man. And hip hop, it just didn't used to be like this. You know, like, it's not why I do it. It's not why I'm here. And I just get so angry that, you know, that hip hop is, that it's in a state of emergency that it's in. Because people just don't care no more. And so when I say that I'm gonna retire, it's, I, I feel just because I don't belong in this hip hop. I belong in like the old hip hop. I should have came up in hip hop with like people that really didn't care about being vocal. You know, NWA, um, Public Enemy, people that really stood, Queen Latifah, MC Light. Come on, man. This hip hop it ain't. Ain't no place for me, so I don't want to. I don't want to coexist with these, with these, with these cats no more. Public enemy and NWA is all my boombox had to say. As of today, the game is confident that he'll retire. But hip hop history has proven otherwise when it comes to rappers walking away from the mic. But even more so, the game has shown us that you never know what will come out of his mouth or what his next move will be, and that's the way he likes it. Worried about anybody understanding me? I know my, you know my views, um, the way that I am. I know sometimes it's too complex for people to understand, but that's what made Einstein, Einstein, Dr. Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King, and me, me. You know, when it gets too complex, that means maybe we sort of genius-like, and I don't mind being, you know, amongst those elite, you know, powerful figures, you know, in in the history a human being. A lot of respect goes out to the game for keeping it all the way real on this Heated Issues edition of The Corner. Now since the game put out 911 as a joke cop killer, other artists have stepped up and shown support for Sean Bell and his family. So a big shout out to all of y'all that's still showing that you want to get involved. Now make sure you pick up the game's album LAX, it's a wrap on the corner. Bring you that summer heat all summer long because you know we got what's hot. Alright, I'm the People's Choice DJ Envy, I'll see y'all next time. So